last 12, 12 hours, we of course have taken this situation seriously. Before I talk about any of our current operations, I would like to have Lori Glover, Emergency Management Coordinator for Black Hawk County, to update us on current river conditions within the county. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, Lori Glover, Black Hawk County Emergency Manager. Um, the National Weather Service in Des Moines has updated their flood information as of 11.45 this morning. Um, they anticipate doing another update between 8.30 and 9 o'clock tonight. But at 10.45, the flood, they updated the crest for Waterloo at 24.8. In 2008, the record was 27, so we're still below the record, but um, we want to make sure that we're prepared uh, for whatever is coming, and that would be the second highest crust in the history of flooding on the Cedar River and Waterloo. Um, we also have a crest at 99.2 in the city of Cedar Falls, and in 2008, that was at uh, 102.1. So as soon as we get the updated information at 9.30 or 8.30 tonight, we will um, communicate that with all the staff and make sure that they're aware of um, any changes that may be made by the National Weather Service. Right. Thank you, Lori. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, these, con these conditions uh, we take seriously. And we've also learned several different um, learning lessons from 2008 and one of the first things that we've done was to form an internal flood mitigation task force comprised of employees with the necessary experience to deal with these rapidly rising waters. Uh, the committee has met and decided on implementing the following measures as we speak. The City of Waterloo has closed Fletcher Avenue from University Avenue to Highway 63 due to flooding of the Black Hawk Creek. We are urging the public to obey all road close signs as they are posted and there will be additional street closures. And due to the projected city river elevations, the city of Waterloo will be activating the initial phase of our flood protection program. This will entail closing several flood control gates on storm sewer systems and activating the associated storm water lift stations and installing the flood walls along the Cedar River. This will also prohibit river water from backing up into the storm sewer system and having the pumps activated and ready to pump collected storm water back into the Cedar River. The storm sewer gates will reopen once the Cedar River drops to safe elevation. Citizens whose properties are located in floodplain areas are encouraged to take precaution. Sandbags will be available at the Public Works building located at 625 Glenwood Avenue and at the DOT location on Ridgeway Avenue. To repeat, Sandbags are available at the Public Works building located at 625 Glenwood Avenue and at the DOT location on Ridgeway Avenue. At this time, garbage routes will be picked up as usual. The city will continue to monitor and provide updates as more information on potential closer, closures become available. And in speaking with Dr. Jane Lindemann from Waterloo Community Schools, uh, we have been in communication with them. And at this moment, school is planned to be open as normal. Once again, Waterloo Commu Community Schools Superintendent Jane Lindemann indicated that Waterloo Schools are planned to be open as normal tomorrow. And any changes will be communicated directly from the Waterloo Community Schools. And I urge all of us to be safe. Do not drive through flood water. And at this time, I will take any questions that we may have from anyone located um, at the press or here at this press conference. 
Uh, volunteers will be coordinated and there will be another press release when it gets to that point. And as I indicated, we have the two stations for sandbagging, but we will communicate that tomorrow or on Saturday when we need, when and where we need volunteers. Um, Eric, would you like to give us a status on um, mechanical gates or Jamie or someone? Uh, Jamie Knudsen, Associate Engineer. Yes, all of the pump stations that we just finished, uh, the eight of them, they are all up, they're all working, ready to go. Uh, all the gates that we have replaced over the last eight years along the storm sewer systems are operational, they're all ready to go. Um, we'll see what the weather brings. Yes, sir. Sandy? Uh, tomorrow we'll be closing um, the railroad bridge, Westfield Avenue, um, 11th Street, Park Avenue, and 18th Street. The other bridges will be open. The panels. Um, the flood walls are installed um, at the Center for the Arts Memorial Hall and down towards um, the railroad bridge in East Seventh Street. Um, all the bridges will be open in the morning. Um, we're hoping to start by 10 o'clock, so it will take about all day to close the bridges. If everything goes according to schedule, yes. <laughs> That's not my decision. <laughs> and it would be asked by a person that works downtown. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, thank you. Um, as we said, we are monitoring the situation. We're in communication. I spoke with Mayor Jim Brown a little bit earlier today. Um, of course, we've been in constant contact with um, uh, Lori Glover uh, with Black Hawk County, so we're taking every step appropriate to make sure we're on top of this situation. Uh, we're going to use the experiences we learned in 2008 to make sure that we can ensure that uh, our public is safe as we continue to try to work through our most recent um, challenge we have with our rain. So, thank you.